this video I'll be troubleshooting a desktop that won't power on one time it was working next thing when you come to power it on it refused to come on before you tackle your desktop if it won't power on make sure you disconnect all the cables at the back and take out it carries four screws two on each panel make sure you take them out using a Phillips screwdriver this would be a free part a video the first part I would be testing the power switch to make sure the problem isn't the power switch in the second part i would be testing the power supply the third part i would be doing a visual on the board but in the third part i will go into more details what you have to look for to determine what is bad or what is wrong with your desktop with all that said if you're new to, to this channel please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos you're free to share this video with your friends to get to the power switch you would have to take out your side panels which I have already taken out the screws this tower has a handle here and a latch even though you take out the screws if you don't move this latch you won't be able to take out the side panel so you would move the latch and you would pull towards you the next side panel since I removed the screws already you just put your hand on it this way and pull it towards you now sometimes some of the panels would be a bit harder to move so you would use a flat screwdriver and give it a little persuading I nearly knock out the camera then this is the front panel and this is what we are after so you would turn the desktop and look in here there 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 is some clips free clips on this side and free clips on the other side you would either pry use a flat end pry it out or if you notice here there is a little nudge here you put your screwdriver and you just move it gently you do the same down here once it start opening already and you just move gently then you turn to the other side and you move now this here do not pull the panel all the way out because it would have wires connected to it so when moving it you just move it gradually don't pull it out you'll bust the wires and if you do bust your wires do not hold me responsible 
this is the switch so you come here you notice the switch is greener and white you place the panel back so the panel won't be falling all over the place and with this you could access the wires here but I would turn the case so you would see the wires are right here on the motherboard you would take out a picture take your phone snap a picture to get the orientation of your wires you pull the wires out you with this desktop I could access it right here you pull it out you look for the greener and the white wire this is it right here green and white pins you take your multi-purpose meter you put it on continuity all then you test touch your probes you looking for continuity so it doesn't matter what side you put your probes and then you get the switch and you press once you hear that and you see it's acting it's good if it wasn't good when you press the switch you won't be hearing anything you could hear that that means your switch is good so this is the first test for this video this is uh, part one in part two i'll be testing or i would show you all how to test the power supply and in part three i would go into details why you should test your power supply and your switch if you find this video was helpful and informative please give the thumbs up subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos see you in the next one thank you and goodbye